Hi, till one we have seen various selectors. Maybe element selector is there, attribute selector is there, ID selector is there, class selector is there. But then we can also combine them. Okay, we can combine them and it will become very powerful. So let's see one simple one first. So the first one is called as group selector. How you are going to write it is write a selector, let us say H1 and then put a comma and then use space and after this space you write one more selector H2 then to both H1 and H2 these rules will be applied. Let's see an example. Now let's say we have this HTML code. So go down. This is the body of the code. No, no, yeah. Body, show the body. Body completely. Body, only body. Show the body. No, no, go down, that's it. Yeah, go up. Yeah, one minute, yeah. So now H body has H1 and H2. There are two header elements, H1 and H2. And then there is a division. Inside the division, there are two elements, paragraph and UL, okay, unordered list. And inside the unordered list, there is list items. Now, if you observe it, div is the parent okay this div is the parent which is having two children one ch one child is p1 and the other child is ul unordered list okay div has two children parent sorry uh, paragraph and unordered list and then div has a grandchildren li so these li's are all grandchildren so div and then and then ul and then li so that is how you should see the hierarchy and now here there is ul is there unordered list so inside inside the unordered list there is a paragraph so ul is the parent and p is the child in this case div is the parent and p is the child and li is the grandchild okay so anyway what we want to do is we want to take this web page which actually looks like can you show the web page As of now, it looks like this, but we want to take it and then show it like this. So we want to make it like this. Okay. For now, let's make the top two elements violet color. Okay. So for top two elements are present in H1 and H2. To do list and to do list is there. Monday is there. So H1 and H2, I want to convert them to uh, violet color. Let's see that. Let's go to styles. Here you can use group selection. Group selection means we are selecting a group of selectors. We are using a group of selectors. How are you going to select it? In the style sheet, you are going to write H1, comma, space, and then H2, and then the rule. Now that color will be applied to H1 and H2. Okay. You can see that both of them have been changed. We are using a group here. Okay. Now we want to change the color. So, okay. Can you show the code? Show the output ones. Yeah. Now we want to change the color here. Do these things to brick. So this part, we want to change it to brick color. Now, where is it? It is here, which is inside a div. So inside div, inside P, there is this element present. Now we want to apply colors to this particular P. Okay. So how are you going to do this is, we are going to do see something called as shade selector. Now, what is a shade selector is, Now, what is a child selector is you can select a parent and then write right angular uh, so this right angular uh, this greater than symbol and then you can collect write the child 
so parent child so one thing that you have to remember here is you can apply this to parent and child only you cannot apply to parent and grandchild or any levels only one level deep which means parent should be in the outer level and immediately child should be there then only you can use this greater than symbol okay when you are using greater than symbol it is the immediate uh, child okay now let's see the code so here we want to take this do these things today and we want to apply brick color to that okay how are you going to select it if you observe it so you cannot directly select p okay because p is here you cannot directly say p and class done because both of them are having p and class done but how can you distinguish these two this p is inside the div that is how you can distinguish this p is not inside the div so inside the div then p that is why we are going to use child selector here so let us see that so div is there and div is having the child p that is why greater than greater than p and then you can apply the color color as fire brick okay now you can see that the color is changed to fire brick now let's see <clears throat> we have three li elements now we want to apply blue color to all the three so here actually in this code there is there are no other li elements so you can directly select li also but for suppose assume that there are many li elements at many places and you want to select only these three allies how are you going to select it so for that we are going to use uh, descendant selector okay so what is descendant is now if you have a selector let us say div and if it is having children so this is different from child selector in the child selector you can you have to go only one level deep but in descendant there can be any levels deep for example there can be div and there can be li which means all the divs which are which have a which are descendants of all, all the allies which are descendants of div will get color blue okay so let's see the example what i mean to say is see div is the outermost uh, present in the outermost level and one level deep there is ul unordered list and inside ul there are allies now you cannot apply directly the child selector here it is descendant all these allies are descendants of div so you have to use l, l div and then li so let's see the code use div and then li which is going to select all the allies which are having a children relationship it can be grandchildren also or great grandchildren any number of levels and we are col coloring them to blue you can see that all the three are colored to blue go to the code once html now in this if you observe it div is inside a, is having a class called box okay and there is no other div with the class called box in this case you can also use dot box instead of div in the previous one also you can do the same so here and here you can use dot box also you can use class selector now what does that mean wherever the class selector dot box is there its children if it, if there are allies present to them we want to apply this color here also you can do the same here also you can write dot box now we have two elements here inside the unordered list i want to take only these two elements this li and this li which are having read and math questions is there i want to take these two allies and i want to apply green color to them now you might think that maybe we can use the element selector li but that is going to select the first element also you might think that we may use the class selector done but then that is going to select this paragraph also now how are we going to do that so for this we are going to use something called as chaining now let's see what a chaining is you can write all the selectors in a sequence without a space 
ओके सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई जस्ट शो यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन राइट लाइक दिस एच वन डॉट सम क्लास नेम फाउंड सम आई डी नेम सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज चेनिंग विच मीन्स एच वन दैट हैज द क्लास क्लास एंड दैट हैज द आई डी आई डी दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इट ना वन थिंग यू हब्जर्व इज ऑलवेज राइट द एलिमेंट फर्स्ट otherwise there will be a confusion for example if you write like this class done is there and then if you write h1 then it might think that this entire thing is a class done h1 so instead of that you have to write like this h1 dot done which means the h1 element which is inside the class done and if i write pound first it means that h1 which is having class done and which is having id first that is the meaning of it now whenever an element is having many is present in many classes and if it is present in many uh, and it has many identifiers okay then what you can do is you can apply a chaining method now go to this uh, go to the code once html now let's see the code here so i want uh, i want these two elements okay i want these two elements how am i going to write they are in li which are having class done therefore li dot done so let's write it li dot done don't write done dot li okay dot done li that will become donly something like this and then it will think that it is a class okay now green so now if you observe it based on the position this green color will, will get higher priority compared to the blue color okay both are in the external styling only but position of this one is at the lower side therefore this position this green is going to take higher priority so that is how we got green here okay now we want to take this element other other items we want to take other items and we want to decrease the size of it okay so basically what i want to do is i want to apply styling to this paragraph element this paragraph element here you cannot use p because p is already there and you cannot you you can use the child relation ul ul and then greater than p that child relation you can use let us assume that under ul there are many p's not just this p we want to select exactly this there what we are going to use is we are going to combine the combine combiners okay we can use like that so basically there is a selector and then there there are lot of other selectors combining the combiners okay so let's see the example there now under ul there is p and p is having class done we can put all this information together assume that there are many p's under ul then you cannot directly apply to pl okay sorry p now let's see uh, how to apply this rule so we are going to apply p Oh, sorry, ul and then p dot done, which means p is a child of ul. So one more thing, even though it is direct child, you can write as write it as a descendant. And here, if you put a greater than symbol, that is also right because ul is directly having p as the child. Okay, so you can put a greater than also. Now p is selected, then you can decrease the size font size of it. font size 0.5 rem then you are going to get this okay now hover on the element generally if you hover on the element you can also see to which uh, uh, element this style is applied hover on this you will yeah so when you are writing the style sheets if you want to see which element is selected or which element this style is applied then it is showing you p class done to this it is applying you can go to other uh, other 
selectors. So here it is showing that it is applied to Li which is inside class box, some element with class box, you can see that, okay. And also it is going to give you some documentation, you can, it will show you MD and documentation also. If you hover on the color, it is going to give you the MDN uh, reference, you can read that, okay. There are many features available in IDE, you can use them. Thank you.